please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. Hi folks and welcome to another episode and welcome to uh, this Tesla Model 3. This is a customer of ours, uh, Uber driver, um, plus 100,000 miles on this now um, and he uh, drives at night so all his miles are done between about 1 in the morning and 10 a.m. in the morning. So he wanted, he's not particularly happy about the headlights that come with the Model 3 as standard and where he lives is quite rural so he's doing a lot of back roads and things like that so he wanted a light bar adding which is this one just down here. This is supplied by a company called Laser Lamps um, and it's not quite as easy as you think to just stick this on um, so I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on what's involved and what I've had to do. So first of all You've got to mount it and you've got to mount it and make sure it's straight. So first thing you've got to do is you've got to measure from each side to make sure you get it centralised. A lot of masking tape, a lot of measuring and a lot of paint pen to make sure it's in the right place. And you normally find that the number plate holder is completely off centre and that will throw you out. Um, OK, once you've done that, you need to be able to feed this massive chunky plug here, which is IP rated, so it's uh, waterproof through here so it comes through under the bumper and then up into the engine bay and then leave a bit of slack I always bring wire in uh, around this uh, chassis leg here and then bring it up here and then tape it away onto the original loom you've got an earth point that goes there you've got a relay which goes there which I've nut and bolted because I just didn't want that going anywhere uh, and then you've got a 12 volt feed going up to the battery and then I always put the fuse there if anything's going to short it's not going to short here and then the fuse is there anything that shorts afterwards then that's fair game it, the fuse has got it the tricky bit is there's quite a, a big wiring loom which goes from the relay and goes into the car now there is a grommet tucked away on that bulkhead which i'm never going to be able to show you it's so far down uh, and that's the one that i use um, that goes into the car it then goes down to a series of switches which I'll show you in a moment um, and then you have to wire in the can interface which I'm going to show you now okay folks in the car this is the near side front carpet pulled down as you can see here sound deadening and then behind there is the grommet and all this wiring needs to come through this is all going to be tidied away but there's a nice big wiring loom now fortunately this kit comes pre-wired so all the switches are in place uh, so you don't have to do anything tricky there um, but you do have to wire in this can interface here which um, is uh, I'm going to say it's nice and easy if you've worked with cam before but we did have to use what's called an RUI to flash this to the latest software. Um, we found that because the Model 3 had done a version 11 update, um, the cam speeds had changed and this was no longer picking up the right cam speed. So we had to flash this using this device, which is very, very easy to use. Um, and you do this over the phone with the chap um, and he will uh, sort out the flashing remotely through your mobile phone using Bluetooth. Uh, it took about 20 minutes, so very, very easy. It comes with all the gubbins, um, and should Tesla change the cam speeds again, I can reuse this to, uh, to do it, and any subsequent lights that I fit, I'm sure will have different, uh, different issues, and I'll, I'll be using that to fit it. The can interface itself is just here. This is all just bodged in at the moment. It's going to be tidied up. Um, you can see the two can lines. It, these, these are the two can lines here. You've got can high and can low. And then um, these are our pickups. Top tip here, folks. Don't cut the can lines. Uh, pull the sheath back and then uh, wire onto them. I'm never, never too keen on... Um, uh, altering the length of a cam wire or cutting through it and changing the resistance uh, it just you're going to open yourself up for problems so that's then wired in so down to the can interface itself i've wired this in a certain way where i've used the side light feed from the can interface to throw the relay that's under the bonnet just as a signal feed um, and then that will that will in turn mean that the light bar won't do anything until the side lights come on uh, side lights come on you get the low beam assist where it just comes on with the low beam and then you get the high beam assist when it comes on with the high beam something i'd completely forgotten to add to the video was this system comes with two switches which are pre-wired so nice and easy to install i opted to install these above the pedal box for the driver 
Uh, the switch on the left hand side allows you to completely turn the system off and the switch on the right hand side allows you to have it as high beam assist only uh, with no low beam assist. So flick the high beam Nick, so that's just a high beam on its own, flick the switch on. Okay, that's the high beam assist and then um, that there is the low beam assist that you can see flashing away there. It's not actually flashing. Well, it is to you, but not to us, it's not. Uh, and then flip the high beam again. And you can see that that is a very, very bright light. That's very dazzling. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's how it looks so far. So it's, it's quite a nice enhancement, but bear in mind, this fitted was about 1100 quid. So it's not cheap, but uh, I think the results of these will be uh, very, very good. And here are those results from nighttime driving. I have slowed this clip down so that you can see the difference between the Tesla's standard high beam and that of the light bar that we've since fitted. So here, that is the Tesla high beam and that is the light bar. I think we can all agree there is a huge difference. This is a good upgrade. These clips here, they're filmed at normal speed. So no enhancements or anything like that. This is just raw video. And again, I think we can all agree, well worth it. These definitely make the Model 3 lights look mediocre at best. I'm going to leave it there. So I'll see you in another episode. Thanks for watching. Please remember to follow us on Twitter at Kate Phantom. And I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.